So, you want to create an operating system for your Android TV box using Core Elec? Here's the instructions here, and I will show you how to do that. This is the list of devices that it supports the Dolby Vision Profile 7 with FAIL, which is Full Enhanced Layer. And I'll explain later, later what that means. But anyway, here's the devices, and I will show you how to create an operating system using a micro SD card and run it on one of your devices. So that's what I'm going to show you right now. We're going to need a micro SD card to create the operating system on. So I've got a, or had a bunch of these, with, and I always run a speed test on them. And that's a PNY 64 gigabit. Now that's got a write speed of 42, read speed of 72. So I'll just go down some of them. And that's a very low one. There's a fairly medium one. Another low one. That's a Kingston 16 gigabyte. We only need about a 32 or 64. Probably 64 standard today. So right here looks like the best one right here, the SanDisk Extreme, Extreme Pro, 64 gigabyte and 69.8 megabytes write and 77 reading. So that would probably be the one you need to get right there. This is the media player that I will be installing this operating, Core Elec operating system on. And it's a Dune HD ProVision 4K. So that's one. Now that one uses the Amlogic S905X4J with Dolby Vision VS10 engine. Anyway, that's the one we're going to be using. However, it's got an awesome remote, but there is no uh, drivers for it on Core Elec yet. So we're going to get a different remote to run that under Core Elec, and I will show you that now. This is the remote that we will be using on that specific box. It's the Yugus UR02. That is one fantastic remote for less than eight dollars. So it takes about a week and a half to get shipped from China to the United States. So that's the one that I will be using because Core Elex supports that natively. Now that we've selected our device and a micro SD card, let's take a look at the instructions. Now again, I will be installing it on this particular here, the one right here, Dune HD ProVision 4K. So that's the one I'll be installing it on. Here's the information. And it needs to be running Core Elec NG version. It does not use the other one. It has to be the NG. Not supported is the C-E-N-E. -E, so it has to be the NG. So we download the Kovi, or Dovi, K-O. That's the one we need, or excuse me. This is the one we need right here. That one. We download that one. And then I'll show you the rest of that. Okay, here's the device trees that we will be using for the different products. Homatics R Plus, they use that one right there. And Dune HDR Plus, same one. Rock check, okay, now we get down to Dune HD Premiere 4K Pro. They have not put the device tree that we use, so we will show them which one we have to use. And some of them may work, and some of them may not work, so... We will find out which device tree actually works on this device. Now that we have an idea of what kind of device tree we will be using for this particular box, now let's go ahead and download the operating system itself. So let's go back to downloads. Okay, we have to use the nightly. And remember now, we have to use the NG, not the NE or the NO. It has to be that one. Okay, we'll use the 21. Okay, now we have a generic, so let's go ahead and download that one. Okay, let's we'll download it. 
Now that we've downloaded our image file for this uh, operating system, we'll go ahead and create the operating system on that micro SD card. So that's what we're going to do right now. This is the card reader that I will be using. And I've had this for quite a while and it does work great. Now that we've loaded Azure, let's go ahead and grab that file. Downloads right there. Target. And we select it and now we're going to flash it. Okay, we'll wait till it gets done flashing. Now let's pick out our device tree. Now that's an S905X4. We're in this range here. Let's take that one right there. Let's see what happens. Now we're going to we're going to copy it. Now we're going to go back to the here. We're going to paste it. And we're going to rename it dtb.mg. That's dtb.img. Okay, now we're not done yet. We have some more things that we have to do. Okay, the next thing we have to do is download this Dolby KO. We need that to give us the Dolby Vision Profile 7 with fail support. So we need to download that. Also, we need to have the uh, drivers for the remote control. So I'll show you that now. As you notice, I've had a lot of media players throughout the years. But anyway, this box here, that's the one that we're uh, going to use. There's the Dolby. Okay, we're going to copy that. Copy. And then we're going to paste it back here. Paste it. Okay, now let's go back to where we were. Now we need the drivers for a remote that we're going to be using. In my case, I'm using the Yugos UR02HW. Now that is the Bluetooth driver. So I'm going to put that in that folder. So I'm going to head and copy that. Put it back there. And I'm going to paste it. Okay. Uh, I think we've done the DTB, the Kovi. Okay, we've got everything. Now we're going to go put it in our, connected to our TV and see what happens. This is the device that we will be running Core Elec on. And if you notice, there is the micro SD card slot that we will be inserting the card into. Now, if you notice, you have to insert it this side up. Like that. Okay, it's inserted. Now we will use our thumbnail and push it all the way in. So now it's seated. Again, this is a Dune HD ProVision 4K. Let's go connect it to our TV and see what happens. Okay, it's booting up. Okay, now I had to remove the micro SD card, otherwise it was not booting completely. So once it boots back into the Dune operating system, I will reinsert the micro SD card and we will continue from there. Okay, we've booted into this operating system. Now, this is the application that we're going to be using. I will leave a link in the uh, description of where to get that app. But we're going to go ahead and reinsert, reinsert that micro SD card, then we will use that. Okay, that's the message that popped up when I inserted that micro SD card. So we're going to go ahead and take no action. Okay, we've inserted a micro SD card that we created. So let's go over here to this application that I was talking about. 
this one right here. Now you have to have the correct DTB or it will not boot. So I tried a couple different ones and I found the one that works. So let's take a look. First reboot. Let's see if this one works. Please allow. Now, I think I've already done that. Now we're in real time. Okay, again, it's booting, and it should, but it should boot into Core Elect if you have the correct DTB device tree. Okay, there we are, and it is setting it up. Now, since I added a uh, different remote control using uh, Bluetooth. I have no control of this right now, so I have to use a different remote. I have one that has an IR dongle, so that's what I'm going to use to set it up until I get the Bluetooth working. So I'll do that in a minute. Okay, it is booting up. It just created its operating system. Okay, let's go ahead and set it up. Says an update is available already. Again, I'm using a remote that has a uh, dongle. Okay, I'm gonna give that a name, Core Elect. Uh, well, this is a Dune 4K Plus. So I'm gonna type V I S. You can put whatever you want, but I have so many of these. <laughs> Boxes, I guess it doesn't take that. Okay, I named it, but again, I have so many different devices, I have to give them names that I know which box is what. Okay, I'm using wired. I'm going to use that one so I can SSH it, keep it existing. Okay, now we're all set up. All we have to do now is go into our uh, uh, media folders. Display. Okay, that's what it's set up at. I have to change that to HDMI. Okay, now. Okay, anyway, I'm not going to go through all this setup routine, but that's how you install Core Elect. Okay, here's the Bluetooth devices that it has found on my network. And the remote that I'm looking for is not listed because I have not put the remote into pair, pairing mode yet. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now, put it into pairing mode. Pairing mode. Now, it should pop up there. Okay, I put it into the remote into pairing mode, and it showed up there. So, let's go ahead and pair it. Trust and connect. Now, it should pair in just a second. Okay, it's paired. Okay, now I'm using that Yugo's remote, Bluetooth remote. So that's how you do that. Now, if you want to go back to your Dune, op Dune HD operating system, all you do is go to your power options and reboot from EMC slash NAND. Okay, it's rebooting. It will reboot right back into the Dune operating system. So we have just created a different operating system that's running from a micro SD card and it's running on this Dune HD ProVision 4K. Okay, there we are, back. Okay, let's go back to Core Elect one more time. Now this time we're going to do a normal reboot and we should be able to go back to the Core Elect operating system. 
Here we are, we're right back there. Now there was an update because we used the nightly. So it, while we were setting it up, it downloaded the newest current update. So that's what it's doing right now. Now again, my colors are not very accurate using my camera. And I don't use my, uh, I'm not using a video capture card, so my colors look washed out using the uh, camera that I'm using right now. So that's why it's washed out, because I'm not using a video capture card. Okay, there's some information right there. I just installed the nightly uh, October the 11th, 2024. Now we will show the device tree that I'm using as soon as it gets done updating the system. Okay, there's a the device tree we're using right there. Now if you put a different device tree and it doesn't boot, that's the reason why. So you have to get the correct device tree. Okay, there we are. Now when you see this information, use player LED and disable Adobe Vision Support. That means that the uh, uh, fail version should work. So the uh, KO that we installed is installed and working. Now, to verify that this device indeed passes through the Adobe Vision Profile 7 with fail, they created this uh, little uh, video to show that. Now, at the 86, Second mark, you should say, see a woman with a camera. But anyway, the fail, as I promised, means full enhancement layer. Now, what that means is when a movie is encoded in with the fail, it sends in the metadata, it sends information about each frame. So instead of sending the information about the whole video, the uh, color and the brightness, it sends it per frame. So this is what this little application is gonna do. And uh, my definition of the fail may be totally wrong, so somebody can probably correct me because I am not an expert on that. Again, when we reach the 82nd mark, you should see a woman with a camera. But anyway, there's very few devices that can actually send the uh, information to your TV that supports the uh, Adobe Vision Profile 7. There's very few devices can do this, and this is one of them. But this is all because of the creators at Core Elec. They're the ones that did that. Okay, we're getting close now. There we go. I guess that's a camera she's holding up or binoculars or something, but I think you can see her. I hope you can. And that proves that this indeed is working with Dolby Vision Profile 7 with fail, full enhancement layer. Okay, thank you for watching and I hope this helped you.